Good morning on Tuesday, April 28th. We're going to move into the 11th chapter of 2 Corinthians today where Paul just kind of pleads with the Corinthians to pay attention to the direction their lives are moving. He tells them, guys, I love you so much. When I came to you, I wouldn't take a dime from you. I provided my own sustenance. And some other churches actually sacrificed so that I could minister to you. But he said, we've got a problem. You, first of all, had this true and pure devotion to God. But now, just like Eve listened to someone who told her a lie and it sounded so good, I'm afraid you're doing the same kind of things. And so I want you to be very careful. And the word that jumped out to me was, don't let your mind be swayed. Do you remember the commercial years ago? Some of you will. Some of you may be kind of young. that said, the mind is a terrible thing to waste. Our minds are so important. And now in all this coronavirus time, you know, I mean, there's the range of our thinking is probably so broad that we can't even measure it. We go from, oh, this is the government's fault. Uh, This is a terrible disease that needs to have people stay at home. uh, I don't know what to believe anymore. I've certainly been there. And so you can see how our mind will begin to play tricks on you. How many of you have actually felt like you had the coronavirus? Because I think we've all probably gone through that and thought, oh, no, I've got the symptoms. I'm probably about to die in the next two days. And in the reality, probably isn't quite that bad. Well, Paul realizes how important the way that we think is and how easily human beings are swayed. One day we are so depressed or the next day we feel so good. And it was the same thing for the Corinthians. A guy comes in and he preaches, well, listen, God doesn't really care how you live your life. You can do what you want to. And he's going to provide you all of the finances and houses to make your life absolutely wonderful. Oh, that sounds good. I think I'll go that direction. And, and you can see the extremes. And Paul said, no, listen, there's only one way. You received the spirit. Don't let some other spirit come in and mess up with your mind. So how do you do that? You stay focused. You stay focused on the word of God, which, of course, the Corinthians didn't have the New Testament back then. But spend time chewing on a verse and meditating on a verse. You know, I've been thinking about I've been sleeping pretty good. And the verse that comes to mind, it says, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. Proverbs says, uh, As a man thinketh, the way you think is the way you are. And Paul certainly presses that point home by saying, Don't let people mess with your mind. You think clearly what God has promised and you follow that straight and narrow path and your life will be wonderful. Well, it's not really going to be always wonderful because he's going to go into detail about what he's had to suffer for following that straight and narrow path. But he said, I'd never change it. And I don't want you to either. All right. So think about your mind. Think about some verses that you can chew on all day and say, how am I doing with my way of thinking? Am I becoming more like Jesus or am I living in fear? God doesn't give us a spirit of fear, all right, but a sound mind. Have a great day. Keep working on those classes. Just a couple of weeks left.